Hello, this is asteroids. I'm drawing asteroids in a dusty, icy ring by the looks of them. Uh, I think they must be icy ring because this is apparently void opal asteroids that people are mining. These ones are at Salome's Reach. Salome's Reach is an area of space that's um, got some names related to some of the books by Drew Wegar. Super duper popular elite novels so uh, and Salome was the main character in those oh this screenshot was taken while the commanders in it were on distant worlds which is a massive group expedition right out out to Beagle Point and back distant worlds 2 I should say this was so uh, uh, it's quite significant really this this rock <laughs> but apparently they didn't really have all the setup for mining so they were they not had a, they didn't have a pulse wave scanner so they didn't know which rocks were full of opals so I, I believe it was a bit of a scattergun affair but I hope they got some opals anyway to carry in their exploration build ships <laughs> who knows uh, anyway yeah no I really like doing this one I, I, I like creating subtle hues and tones with the chalk because it's what chalk does best really I also quite like doing the little detaily textury parts on the rocks it's quite simple as well it's quite a simple picture to make so uh, that was quite satisfying doing that sorry about the doggy <laughs> i guess um it was a sort of steely gray color this cloud but i put blue in to try and pump it up a little bit the light that's on the rocks uh, is coming from the light of laser you can't really see that yet because i've not drawn it you know i'm wondering whether they mean isham's reach not salome's reach which is in the abyss near Beagle, Beagle Point, which is where they went on Distant Worlds 2. But he did say Salome's Reach, which is fair enough. And Salome's a great story. It's a, it's good, it's a good sort of tragedy, if you want, that, that's set within the elite universe. So that's quite good. Salome is sort of the commander name for Kahina Ren, the character that was in Drew Wegar's book. And she was sort of privileged dignitary in, in the Empire. Um, she's uh, known for being connected to the PRISM system. This thing this thing in the bottom left hand corner, it's, a, it, it, it's an XG7 Trident, which is um, one of the commanders, Commander Knave, uh, in this picture. They're all members of Fuzang Heavy Engineering faction and uh, Commander Knave's there in that in that Guardian fighter there. They look great the Guardian fighters. They've got all kind of like spangly electric blue. Oh I forgot to do the electric blue. I'll do it before I post it I promise. I took this photo it's Ian Good and um, there's also a E Commander and Weeble. I always think of as Camel number one on <laughs> Twitter and uh, yeah the, the, the Looks like it was a great experience actually, looks like it was a great journey and I know it was a, an epic trek, certainly. Anyway, this bit has been fun, I quite enjoyed doing that, uh, I quite like it, The uh, it, it's quite rewarding when you've got a whole sheet of chalk that's all bright and solid and that you just can rub bits out <laughs> and, and it, it's, 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 it's magic really that I can make uh, such a bold image just, just by rubbing it out. Anyway, I'm going on to do the uh, anaconda now. The anaconda that's shooting its lasers potentially blindly into this rock in the hope that there may be void opals inside. So you can see, uh, again, I'm using my rubber to rub out the uh, to, to rub out the shape of the anaconda. So it's, uh, and then I can add add my lights. I mean, it was in shadow, this anaconda. It was very, it's very kind of, sort of dark you can't really see much so I'm just putting in those lights that uh, the onboard lights that you get I think that's practically it to be honest that's pretty much all I did with this bit of smudging bit of tweaking anyway thank you for watching I always really appreciate it bye <laughs>